One morning we were marching across a field and there was a German tank that had been knocked out and had caught fire and these guys, those guys never got out. They were draped out the courts, you know, out the, uh, up on the top of the tanks and I saw several. We got penned into a place in the trench and we fought till we were out of ammunition. We were in a place here, and they were throwing grenade, uh, concussion grenades in on us, and that's how they knocked us out. Well, I was taken prisoner on March the 3rd, just about daylight, uh, about a quarter of a mile from the banks of the Rhine River in a little town called Grimlin Hausenbrook. And it's right across the river from uh, the big industrial city of Dusseldorf. And I had picked up a film of, uh, canteen with coffee that morning bullet went through that and I thought I was bleeding to death with this warm coffee running down my butt. I just don't think it was my day on that last battle because my clothes were all shot up and I only got hit once with a machine gun and uh, I had bullet holes through my jacket about that far apart right from the collar clear down to my hips. But after they took the prisoners, we went by train to Limburg, Germany, and then they marched us out to a Stalag 12A outside of Limburg, just outside of Limburg. I don't know what the name of the little town was, but that was after about four days, and the only meal we had, it's the only time split pea soup ever tasted good to me in my life. We had a bowl of split uh, pea soup. That's all we had to eat in once in three days. They didn't have nothing to eat, so they didn't have much to feed us. And we got we got a little barley soup in the morning and and black bread. And uh, then we might get a little barley or potato soup again in the evening. That was the extent. I went from 157 pounds to 137 pounds in 27 days. So you know, it was a slimming diet. And in the compound right next to us. They dropped the bombs right on the building. That was on my 19th birthday and I was out there within 25, 30 yards of where this bomb hit. In fact, there was two bombs hit there. And April 1st, 1945 was Easter Sunday, which also was April Fool's Day. And that's the day I was liberated by American troops. I was in, in a hospital in Le Rueville, France got that word. And uh, of course nobody could believe it and yet they did believe it.